Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be attempting to renovate and restore this Shisham Rosewood coffee table, which I've got um, a while ago and it's just been sitting in my garage. So if all goes well, fingers crossed, it's going to be a quick project, but you know how quick projects go. They never go as planned. So anyways, I have my full faith and um, yeah, let's just get started with it. So as I mentioned before, I've got this a long time ago and it's been damaged back then as well but then I'm pretty sure it didn't help that it's been sitting in my garage for a long time and as you can see it's got plenty of damages where the original finish has come off and areas like this as well so I am going to give this a very thorough clean and then after that's done I'm going to scrub these black dots as well which are actually all like metal um, I guess ornamental parts and um, after that once it dried I am going to attempt to refinish it so let's just see how we get on with that okay so the first thing I will be doing is I will be cleaning this coffee table and for that I'm using my usual setup which is an elbow grease a bowl of water with a cloth and now I'm using this um, metal brush and I've also got this fine steel wool which is mostly um, well mostly I was thinking of using it on these metal parts but thinking of it I think I'm going to use it on this surface as well so I can remove all the finish that wants to come off anyways because we want to make sure that only that part of the finish will stay on it that um, is strong enough because otherwise if I'm refinishing it and then it starts to peel off it's not gonna be good with that being said it's also possible that I am just going to completely send this off in fact that may be a better idea actually but I just see how the the wood behaves so um, yeah I'm gonna clean now look at the dirt just from the top this is why you need to clean your pieces it's dirty So this is how it looks after I have gave it a thorough clean. As you can see, it looks lighter, it looks a bit more damaged, which was kind of the goal because we want to remove all the 
finish that wants to come off anyways so that only those finishes are gonna stay on there that is strong enough and it's not gonna peel off so the next step we're gonna be doing is we'll be using a product called Restora Finish which is that one and to apply that it's a, so it's a neutral color because uh, that's the only ones I'm usually using because that way we can match the uh, the top of the finish while well, the top of the uh, the table perfectly because this is just gonna give it an extra coat um, and then to apply it you can apply that with a cloth but I am using this really fine uh, steel wool so that I can get into all the nooks and all the little crevices in there and it can fill up all the all the damaged area as well and then once that's done once that's applied, I'm going to wipe it off with a cloth. So um, with that being said, I am just going to put the camera down and I am going to apply the rest of the finish on this table. One thing I forgot to mention is that you will need to empty it into a little container just because um, you can't pour the product directly onto the surface. So. So now that I have applied the Restora finish on the top, all I have to do is wait for it to dry. And um, I'm gonna try and show it to you at an angle. So that area at the front, it's all dry. It's all dry up until here, where you can see that little shine over this point. So the top is almost completely dried already it seems because i think it's got some sort of alcohol in it as well so it dries really quickly and then the entire body has been restored as well so after this i am going to decide if i want to apply a second coat i can still see just a little bit of color difference here but obviously i know that there was the damage um but I might just finish it off with something else. So um, we shall see how it goes after it's fully dry. So this has dried for a few hours now and um, it looks a lot, lot, lot better, but I'm fairly perfectionist and I can still see a bit of faded area here where obviously it was damaged. So just because of that, I am just going to apply a second coat and then I'm confident that after that it will be done. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to let it dry now and then once that's done I am going to apply a feed and wax by Howard to protect and nourish the wood as well and then it will be complete.
and with that our shisham coffee table has been renovated I think it turned out really good especially how it looked before I can still see some spots if I look at it at a certain angle but bear in mind this is a used furniture it's never gonna look like new but this is pretty close to being new by the way I really love the shisham wood because it's got such a beautiful wood grain I love it what do you guys think? let me know if you tried Restora finish before and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below see you guys in a few weeks